In this video, we will teach you how to make a solar panel using copper sheet. This method is very cheap, and you can do this experiment at home. Cut a copper sheet in two parts. Make the sheets the same size. Clean your copper sheets. Make sure to scrub the copper with steel wool or sandpaper to remove any corrosion. Place one copper sheet on a hot plate. Once you have placed a sheet on the hot plate, turn the hot plate on. This will heat the copper and provide the energy needed for the copper to react quickly with the oxygen in the air. This speeds up the natural oxidation process considerably. As the copper heats up you will see varying shades of red, pink, purple, and possibly other colors. This is a sign that oxidation is taking place. Finally, you will notice that these colors are all being replaced by a black covering. This covering is cuprous oxide. Once the whole sheet is covered in cuprous oxide, allow it to cook at least 30 more minutes. When you are finished cooking the copper, turn the burner off. Leave the copper on the burner to cool. This allows the copper to cool very slowly to room temperature, which should take about 20 minutes. Place the two copper sheets into your container. Both pieces need to be able to fit in the bottle without touching each other. Connect alligator clips to each sheet. Make a salt water solution. Dissolving salt into the water will provide electrolytes in the form of Na plus and Cl that carry the current from the cuprous oxide layer to the clean copper sheet. Add salt water to cover most of the two plates. Leave about 2 inches of space above the salt water. Place the solar cell in the sun. When the sun hits the cuprous oxide layer, it causes electrons to be released. The cuprous oxide is not conductive, but the electrons are able to move through the salt water to the conductive copper plate. This plate transfers the electrons to the wires. Hook the alligator clips to a multimeter. Be sure that your meter can function in the microamp range. Set your meter to read microamps. A very small amount of current will be flowing. This current should fall somewhere between 0 and 50 microamps. I hope you like this video, for more interesting videos, please subscribe.